Hi guys, Frostfang here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladin's video back on the PTS. We're we'll playing some Nando today and covering his relatively small but still pretty important buffs. He's had two relatively small changes or direct buffs in this update, but I wanted to make a Nando video for a little while now, and this is kind of a perfect excuse. And I have actually played with this already, so this isn't like a first impressions. I have actually given this a go, and it worked surprisingly well. It seemed to be incredibly annoying to go against. I had a pretty damn good stat overall, but I also went against it in that same match, and it was really interesting having an add on both sides going for like a minimum cooldown reduction shield setup but yeah the things he's actually had changed is number one his ult now charges 20 percent faster by default so you basically have just over morale boost one built into his kit now because his ult i think was taking a little bit too long to gen it is quite a strong ultimate but now you're gonna get it 20 percent faster but aside from that and the thing that is kind of the focus of today's video is agus has now gone up from a two second cooldown reduction to a four second cooldown reduction it still gives you the infinite duration but now it pulls the cooldown down by four obviously he also has a card that does a similar thing towering barrier but the important thing to note with this is that it does get affected by diminishing returns so for every time you level this card instead of getting the 0.8 you realistically get about 0.4 or something like that it doesn't really matter the specifics because it basically means if you go for Aegis you will get four seconds off the cooldown on top of the two you get from this card so you're basically going to rock a six second cooldown shield then on top of that you can go ahead and grab Kronos which is something I wouldn't usually recommend Fernando and pull the cooldown down to just about five seconds I'll do it in probably the game one or two just for showing it off in the video you genuinely have a five second cooldown Nando shield which is ridiculous but overall as crazy as this is i'd probably still recommend sticking to scorch and going for like a damage setup but if you are going to be playing him as a tank Aegis, and then this sort of thing i've got set up here works really really well or this other one if you don't need that extra two seconds so yeah we'll go through the setups quickly and then we'll just jump into some games this is the one i've already shown you very quickly we've got cooldown reduction on the shield on top of Aegis. you can easily rock this setup without going for Aegis as well which is usually what i'd actually recommend to be honest we have last stand which is actually a relatively strong card immovable object for rejuvenate when we're below 50 percent extra health and then also level one heat transfer just to get a ref up a little bit more often but it is also kind of a filler card it's just a good one then the other version of the setup is the exact same thing it pretty much just switches it out for incinerate instead of cooldown reaction on the shield you have it on the fireball and the levels are also moved a tiny bit but well, there we go match ready that didn't take too long i guess we've got siege bazaar as the map for game one also because i know i'll get like two or three comments about it if i don't mention it my hair is kind of wet so that's why so that's why it looks a little bit darker and kind of heavier than usual i just freaking got out of the shower and my hair is still kind of wet just couldn't be bothered drying my hair so i just tied it up and started recording in the video but shout outs to i'm not even gonna try and say that name it looks like it starts with Etaka, but that's not even close i bet so shout outs to him and possibly also mercy who i might have called out before he's on io works quite well with this we also have a leanne and an eevee seems like we've got zin instead and then also a mave from we're up against an anara a general Ceceris, a mave and a grok also went ahead and grabbed the aegis and the cooldown reduction setup we've got goddess of blessing cat burglar eminence and guillotine we're up against cat burglar model reach maelstrom others grace and power gosmium and just to show you the cooldown on the shield you deploy and it's pretty much six seconds shout outs to once again that zin if you do grab chronos uh, chronos one i think even chronos two it still shows us six seconds but chronos three it does actually go down to five definitely wouldn't recommend going for max chronos with nando the one second you pull off of the shield really isn't worth it you're, you're definitely better off spending those credits on like quarter eyes or something but yeah just doing it for the sake of the video to show you how low it can bloody go just keep getting some damage on this anara throw a fireball through there it seems like grok is going for damage and so is the generals because he went for power cosmium there is the shield as we reload i always forget you can actually reload whilst your shield is up there is a little bit of damage from just trying to play it kind of safe while sticking to the point but it's a bit tough to do because i'm kind of getting pushed off a little bit maybe we should go around to the side and try and get him over here i don't think they're really expecting to deal with me from an angle so maybe that was a good idea dash through him a little bit pull up the shield again i'm pretty sure i'm screwed here i have got the ultimate up which is kind of nice but i'm definitely dead i'm gonna dash out of the grip but yeah i'm 100 gone io was out zim was out i think somebody else died there as well and just in case it wasn't obvious i should probably clarify that this is a very team dependent setup because obviously when you're holding your shield up you're not really doing anything else other than blocking damage for some reason the generals didn't want to grip me there there's some fire damage for him we are, we are holding the objective there is the shield she's gonna wall off she's going for her ult so i'm gonna go ahead and pop mine grok went for it too did a pretty decent job of countering him there although i might still be dead i just dashed in the direction of the general salt because my brain is freaking huge but there is the shield i'm just gonna hold this and try and get i guess hold the overtime i'm dead I, again as soon as our io is gone i'm pretty much screwed because i'm not getting any heals but there is the objective captured i guess we can get rid of this mave is the shield on five seconds oh it is okay so chronos 2 is enough to pull it down to five that's good to know i guess if you want to pull one second off the cooldown you can just go ahead and buy chronos too again don't think it's particularly smart but now we officially have a five second cooldown on the shield we'll throw a q through there really do miss the talent that gives us the extra damage because it would be really nice to have it definitely seems like we're getting a little bit bodied so far that was like a four man fireball i would really like to have the extra damage talent but the shield up again just stand here and absorb as much as i can i've been contesting this payload for bloody days it feels like to be honest with you i'm kind of surprised i've been here for so long there's a fireball for two of them i'm just going to continue to play this little corner section here wish i had quarter eyes it'll probably be the next thing i get gonna have to reload there's a two-man fireball and 
the shield. Not really sure what the plan is here. There's a little bit of tick damage from. There's the shield. They are going through it pretty quick. Grok has got the ult again because, of course, he bloody does. Dash over here a little bit. Do I go for my ult? Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Why not? We should be able to get rid of the Genos. Never mind. He's being healed by the Ceres. I think I ran out of ammo there in my ultimate. I don't, I don't think that's something that's even meant to be able to happen. Zin is on there with the Billow. I've nearly got enough to finish off Kronos, but that is probably going to be the nil too, or maybe not. I think I went for the ult there. I'm going to jump back on it. We do technically still stand a chance at this. I'm going to see if I can burn through the Inaro. Oh, that definitely ain't going to happen. I guess I'll pull up the shield. Just going to continue to stand on here, dash over to the side a little bit. There's a bunch of damage from, and I am gone, and that is the zero two. I feel like I'm doing pretty much all I can with Nanto so far, but we're definitely struggling. I feel like Io's doing a decent job on heals. I think it's kind of the damage side of things that we're lacking in at the moment. Even if this is a zero four loss, I think I'm going to have a ton of shielding because I have thrown it up a bunch of times where they've actually just straight cleared it. They don't have any wrecker either. They're just going through it with straight damage. I guess another way to look at it is that that Anara's on a 26 streak, Genesis is on 21, and I only have five deaths, so I clearly can't be too much of a problem here. I've been trying to play kind of safe, but we're just really not outputting enough damage. They're just not dying, really. Can jump back on the point, kind of pressure the Ceres a little bit, maybe force her to use her invis. Doesn't seem like anybody's going to flank her, though, so it probably won't matter. Let's get rid of the Mave. Nice. I reckon if we team here, we could actually still win this fight. Push up here on the Ceres. Speed buff from the Io was kind of nice, and Nara is running in. I don't know if she ran in and died, or if she was just really late to this round. I actually don't know. Put up the shield and just kind of wiggle away. There's the objective capture recovery mechanic, a little bit too strong. See, two of them can't go through the shield easily. She is now going for the ult, so I'm just going to drop down here. Actually, managed to dodge that. I don't have my shield up to block it, sadly. But there's some more tick damage from Jones is going for the grab. I'm just going to try and dash away. It didn't let me do it there, I guess because it was deploying the shield. I don't know. How am I still alive? I'm healing from the freaking card. There we go. I'm eventually dead. Io's a little bit too far off. Right, well, we officially have the lowest possible cooldown on the shield because we've got Max Kronos as a double fireball and some tick damage for the general. So I'm pretty sure it'll still show us five seconds because I don't think it can actually go any lower than that. But, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. It still shows us five. So that's kind of the only thing that matters, I, I guess. Push up here on the grow. He is nearly gone. I have got some cauterize. I'm going to try and get that max as soon as possible because Nando's actually pretty good at applying it. There is a fireball. I'm just going to push up and be very aggressive. He is still not dead though. Are you kidding me? I pushed up so hard there. I guess Zin did finish him off. So that's kind of worth it. To be honest, I can't really see us pushing this, but that's a two man fireball. Hello, Maeve. Let's burn through her health. This shouldn't be too hard to do. She's just going to stand there and emote. Maybe she's seen my stuff. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and pop the orc because Grok and Anara are comboing. I'm imagining that they're partied because that's like the second time they've done that. I guess I'm going to go and try and hold the point. Push up on this Genos. He's on a 32 streak. How is he not dead yet? I can't really chase him because I have to slow down to deal damage, but I don't know how we've got three flankers and he's still not out, or two flanks and a damage. I mean, maybe I'll kill him. Yeah, sure. He's on a 32 streak and I'm going to be the person to get rid of the general. That makes no sense. I'm still here pushing the objective with the overtime. Kind of the only person on the team here doing it, though. I'm going to be dead here any second, I'm imagining. Just apply more tick damage to him, pull up the shield again. That is Io going for the ult and then dying, although she did technically get rid of the Ceres. This match is a mess. Zin and Grok are just emoting and Nara should shoot him in the back of the head. I have no idea what's going on. There's a double fireball he is dropping the emote yeah sure i'll drop an emote too why the hell not might as well just stand here and drop an emote i was doing the same thing i guess we can go back to fighting now general sincerus just went for the combo fair enough i imagine that would have been top play had it still existed to be honest i kind of just want to be put out of my misery at this point i'm just going to slowly wiggle away and maybe just jump off the point so we can stop getting overtime and the round can end because we know this is a one three i reckon this might be one of the only times where everybody has just kind of stopped peacefully in a paladins match maybe seems to be kind of determined to get rid of me here i'm kind of just blocking her with the shield I don't know why it's taking her so long. I guess it's because of the self heal. I was hitting me with a heal. I think it's fair for me to fight back after her trying to kill me for so long. She is dead, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on. Just dropped in the chat, what now? And uh, may have just said we're too bad against them. Honestly, feel like they're kind of giving us pity at this point. I jumped off it a while ago. I've not been trying to make my stats look good or anything. I kind of just want the round to end so we can quickly move over to game two, I guess. Shoutouts to the Leanne. Well, there we go. Push failed. Interestingly enough, we didn't actually end that, I think, on purpose. I'm pretty sure that Io just stood in it long enough that the overtime ended up kind of finishing. I've never seen that happen before, but yeah, the team kind of just dicked around there for about five minutes. We are now, I guess, going to continue. Don't think I've ever actually had that happen before. There's just like a complete stalemate because people kind of refuse to kill each other. Usually one team kind of just gets bored and kills the other person. May have asked me why am I playing the PTS. I feel like the fact that I make videos is kind of self-explanatory there. Still not really sure if we're like actually fighting or not because we started the round emoting and now we're kind of going back to fighting again. I kind of just want this game to be over so we can jump into another match. Yeah, there we go. There are these stats for game one. They don't really mean all that much because of that game, obviously. But if you were interested, they're right here. Shoutouts once again to all the people in that match. 
match because I think a bunch of them called me out, so just shouts to everybody. All right, well, for game two, we've got Siege, Foes, and Guard. Shouts to HD Mike and also Dewea. I'm guessing you say those names. I probably butchered them, but I think there was also somebody else there who called me out. Maybe not. We've got a Jones, we've got a Talos, a Ceres. I'm obviously on Nando, and we've got an Amani. Then for their side, we're up against a Pepper, a Term, a Makoa, a Sky, and a Lian. We'll go ahead and grab the same setup, although I kind of want to go for the damage one this time around. Or should I just stick to the shield? We'll stick to the cooldown setup, although I'll go for Cauterize this time instead of Kronos because I've kind of already showed it off, even though it was technically just half a game until everybody went friendly. I'm only just asking why they haven't fixed the high ping yet. I honestly wish I knew, to be honest, because it's been freaking high ever since the PTS went up, to be honest. We've got Binary Star, we've got Model Reach, we've got Mana Rift, Inner Strength, Precision, Debilitate Leviathan, Undying, and Combat Medic. So Pip is going to be the solo support here. There is a Fireball. We'll go ahead and pull up the shield, dash over to the side. Hello, Leon. I guess we can burn through some of her health. She's really, really low. Okay, there we go. Well done, Genos. There is some stuff for the Pepper. Mako is also here, so is the term. There is the shield. I'm just going to slowly wiggle away. We counter him pretty damn hard, to be honest, with this sort of setup. That was a pretty juicy fireball, although I'm kind of trying to just hit through that term at the moment. There's some more fire damage from there. There's a Q for him and the pepper. I'm just going to go ahead and dash through here. Hello, Koa. Just kind of toasting some turtle and like a pepper, whatever the hell she's meant to be. I guess a fox? No? A dog? I don't know. Just an anthropomorphic creature. There goes the Leanne as well. Sure. That was a pretty long team fight. That was a pretty accidental freaking thing on the sky there. I heard her invis and then de invis, but I didn't actually know where she was. So I kind of just threw it through that line of sight and it worked quite well. Burn the Makoa a bit as well. I'm not really showing off the shield in this match. I'm kind of just showing off my goddamn damage side of Nando. Just taking as many people as we can. Pull up the Q and run away a little bit. That slow does screw me over a little bit, but there goes the turn. We might as well push in. Might as well push in, or I guess I'm going to get hooked by Makoa. Sure he is now. Gone nearly. I had like one second bloody cooldown on the shield. We'll go ahead and get some more quarter rise. I was going to get master riding there, but it's freaking up to 250 now, isn't it? It does feel pretty damn good to play with the ult being up more often and the shield being up more often as well. There's a Q for two of them. Burn them a little bit as well. I'm kind of surprised I lived, to be honest. I used the ult in kind of a crappy spot, but the team did come in a really clutch time. There goes the term. She also got rid of somebody else. We'll throw something on the pepper, but never mind. Amani's going to get rid of her too. I guess I'll go push the objective. Obviously, we didn't have a full game one, which is fine because it was kind of funny seeing that happen because I haven't had that in a match in absolutely ages. Obviously, it would get really, really annoying if it happened all the time because it kind of takes away from like the authenticity of a video if everybody's just kind of running around and emoting. It's the same reason I hate when I get like really, really heavy focused or, or I guess when people give me free kills all the time, it ruins a lot of the fun because then it's not just like a normal match of paladins. It's people just kind of being weird because they see that my name's Frostwangs and I have a badge next to it. It's weird. But anyway, let's dash in. Term is gone. Let's get rid of this Leanne if we can. She's on like no health, but that Pepper heal is just a little bit too much for me to go through. Ult was nearly up. Jonas went for his, and I don't know if he hit anybody or not. Ceres went to try and combo with it, but I think she was a little bit late though, and that is the push failed because nobody was on it. Talos was pretty close, but the team were a little bit too far away, so that's the 1-1. One, one. Leanne did just go for the ult. They did get rid of Amani. There is the shield. They're not even really bothering to fire into me, it seems, for the most part. There we go. They nearly cleared it. Do have the ult up, which I could go for, I guess. Yeah. Did just go ahead and pop the ult a little bit late. The Makoa's just emoting. There's a three-man fireball. We'll pull up the shield and just, I guess, stand on it. Talos is going in with the ult. There's a fireball. I'm gone, so is he. Amani tried to ult. She got picked off by the sky. Finished off our quarter eyes. I don't know if we're going to be able to get there in time. It's at 55% already. They might actually just have secured it. going to try and run over here. I feel like that hit me, but it just didn't give him the damage. I don't know. I guess I'm flanking. I guess this is technically a flank. That was like a three-man fireball. Genos went for the ult. Got rid of the pepper, so they actually have no heals now. So my max quarter eyes isn't doing very much, I guess, other than like, denying self-heal. I just tried to fireball, but I missed a little bit. There is the dash. I think she hit me with a heal there, but a little bit too late. Either way, I'm pretty sure we just team wiped him. Well done. I think Sky's still up, but we've regained the point, and that's going to be the 2-1 overtime. Why is it overtime? There's nobody there, but okay, sure, game, you do you. Throw a fireball there. Cool, I think I hit two of them because I accidentally hit the sky. I guess I should stick to the objective because we don't have anybody pushing it. Get some more damage on him. Leon is going for the up, but she is dead. Just burned the Makoa a little bit. He should be gone here any second. Fireball from he is out. Hello, term. I'm not sure. Not sure exactly what term was doing. He's gone. I maybe he was trying to place himself for the ultimate. I don't know. We can obviously just easily dodge that. Get pulled up by the Makoa, although I didn't actually get pulled all the way. I got kind of caught on the corner. Did try and take him a little bit. Amani went for the ult, got rid of the pepper, or maybe she didn't because Makoa killed her just before she burnt through her. Okay. Pulled up the shield, trying to block stuff. I'm going to go ahead and pop the ult to maybe save the generals too. I'm in such a crappy spot here. She hit me with a heal, so maybe, so maybe I'll still live. I'm going to try and dash through here, pull up the shield again. I'm on like 200 health, self heal coming through. Kind of clutch. Genos also hit me with one. He's kind of jumping around me here. Let's see if we can finish him off. Leanne is gone. He is dead as well. So that's probably going to be the three one because it's just the Makoa and the Sky. She's being grabbed. He's trying to cover her. She's going for the ult. I don't think I can block that. No, I can't. I just cleared my shield for free and I am nearly dead. Thank you, Genos, for the heals. I feel like both the goddamn games today have just been absolutely chaotic. But there goes Pepper and Makoa. We got the three one. Get a little bit of extra damage there in the slow mo. I guess I'll get some master riding. Yeah, sure. I got some rejuvenate too. Why not? I'm actually not sure if this is going to be the last PTS video
are technically just skins, whereas like Ceres and Io both had changes as well. I'm not sure. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Do you want to see me do a video on the skins? I don't know. I've covered most of the big gameplay changes I wanted to cover, so so the other ones I'm kind of unsure on. There's some damage for the sky. She does have to so she kind of goes through me. There is the shield of Marnie blasting him. Jesus Christ, there goes Pepper. I guess we can push up a little bit. There's a two, three man fireball. I think I only got two of them. I don't have a shield up. It's on like one second. I did deal some good damage before I got clear. They're actually really low. Generals went for the ult, got two of them, both of the tanks. Well done, my guy. He's been getting some pretty damn good ones. Guess I'm going to run back in my master riding too and kind of block him off and just make sure they're all dismounted. He's going for the slow, but there is the victory. 4 1. But yeah, there we go. There are the stats for game two. Not going to really go through them. They're there if you want to see them. They're pretty straightforward as far as I can tell. There's nothing crazy that I really want to point out or anything. Shoutouts to Fopic228 and also Ninja27261. I've definitely called him out before and possibly some of the other people here. It's kind of hard to follow the chat logs and stuff, but shouts to everybody in that match. Was just about to do a game three, but I've decided that I'm going to cut it a little bit short and keep this one a little bit more concise, mainly because this is a relatively small change when you compare it to all of the other stuff, so I don't need to make this video overly long. I've shown you the setup. It worked surprisingly well. I think overall in both the games, I did decent. I did a decent amount of shielding, decent amount of damage. Overall, I still prefer damage Nando, but shield Nando is a little bit better than it was before. You get the shield up a lot more often if you go for this specific setup. But yeah, I thought about it, and if I did a game three, I'd just be showing you kind of the same thing again with the shield and the land stealing damage and shielding and stuff. So yeah, we'll cut it here, keep it short. Thank you for watching. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. I think I did my outro right, and as always, stay frosty. Yep, yeah, definitely butchered that one. See you guys soon. <laughs>